Hey everybody, so hope you've, hope you've all been doing well. It's been a bit since my last video. And I just wanted to talk about a few things that have been on my mind recently. And one of them has been this whole, this whole concept of dating, this whole dating scene, and really how it's just not something I've ever really felt drawn to because I've always felt like it was very agenda-driven. In other words, why, why even bother with it when I know that the person the individual I'm with the vast overwhelming majority of the time if I'm not selective you know if I'm not if I'm not using any sort of like discrimination they're probably just trying to either one get laid or number two trying to fit me into some sort of you know preconceived uh, mold or something like that um, and then if I don't fit that mold then they don't really they don't give two shits about you quite frankly because most people, they, they're agenda driven. Most people, they, they really don't care. They, they really only care about, they're really only interested in themselves. Um, they only really care about themselves and their own little bubble, their own little world. And not, not really much outside that. So, um, we, we do live, the, the reality is that we do live in a warring universe, okay? And I've seen enough shit, I've experienced enough shit to this point to know that as a fact so that's why I kind of distance myself um, in many ways from the the sort of I don't want to say mainstream but the sort of the, 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 the major elements of the the new age movement where while I do agree that positive thinking and these sorts of things are very important and they're very relevant um, and I am a positive person for people who know me people who like know me personally um, know that okay um, I come on here and I tend to vent, but the, the, the reality is that it, it is a 99% negative world that we live in, especially on the physical plane, okay? I would even say on the astral plane too, but then that's getting into, you know, some more, some more, uh, you know, esoteric stuff. So there are many, many worlds beyond this physical one that we see with our five senses, okay? That's just the reality. Um, if people aren't ready to accept that, then that's their trip, you know? So I'm not really concerned about those people, to be quite frankly, because they're not really concerned about me. They don't give a shit about me, so if it's not reciprocated, then there's no point in me even wasting my time or my attention or my energy. And that I would encourage other people to have that same sort of attitude and mentality. It sounds kind of cold, but um, the world could be a cold place. So um, it is it is a warring universe, and you have to. And in my experience, it's good to have the sort of mentality of being be a spiritual warrior don't just be like don't be a fucking wimp you know what i mean you could be you could be kind be nice be kind to people be accommodating but don't be don't be a wimp you know what i mean there's enough of that and that just make that just kind of exacerbates the problem that exacerbates the negativity that we have and i feel like that the the majority of the the spirituality the spiritual circles that we see nowadays it's just it, it teaches you know um uh, passiveness right to uh, and it is it is good to let go of things you know when you can but at the same time you have to give yourself permission you have to give yourself you, you can't deny yourself the the um, the ability to express you know if you have an emotion or if you have a feeling you're pissed off um, if you're upset if you need you know whatever it is okay give yourself that permission to you know experience that and express that if you're if you're mad get mad get really mad just don't don't let it linger don't let it don't hold on to it because the more i find like the more you the more you suppress things the more they tend to just kind of um, the more they tend to just kind of bottle up and then they cause tension and they cause problems okay so never deny yourself okay you you are each in each one of you is actually a divine spark of god okay so why would you need to justify yourself to any other individual i don't care who they are i don't care if they're claiming to be some sort of you know some sort of master or guru or whatever okay because true spirituality if a true master will actually <laughs> really talk about what i'm talking about you know what works one way of approach of approaching life that works for one individual may not work for another individual may actually cripple another individual you know what I mean so each of us has to find our own way um, we're, we're take our own sort of separate path up to the same summit up to the, to the same mountain so to say right so and if we cross paths along the way then that all the better that's cool you know we could we can help you know point the way for others and and, and um, 
provide, do our best to provide a nurturing sort of uh, circumstance and environment where one can actually really just be themselves, be authentic, and not have to be in a perpetual state of justification, okay? Um, that's really important, too, is just to not be in a state of justification. And that kind of goes hand-in-hand hand with the whole idea of not denying yourself, okay? And that's all we see. I mean, look at social media. Look at the look at the internet. It's 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 like a it's like a exhibit A, you know, of, of people just trying to justify themselves, trying to get likes and followers and be popular and these sorts of things and be liked, um, not realizing that the majority of people who <laughs> the vast majority of people who um, you know like them or follow them don't really give two shits about them. Quite frankly, I wouldn't even say they give one shit, one fraction of a shit about them. They're just there because uh, they want to be entertained, okay? Um, oh, this person's funny. This person's hot. This person's attractive. This person knows a lot about this that I'm interested in or something like that. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, they're not really um, concerned about that individual soul and their unfoldment and their, their existence and survival in eternity, okay? And, uh, you know, I know some of these ideas might... I don't think these ideas are far out there at all. That's the thing. You know, it's like, wow, Ma Rob, this is really deep stuff. It's like, is it really? Is it really deep? Is that how shallow and pathetic, you know, our society is that we can't even talk about these sorts of things without without getting uh, looked at like we need to be in a padded room with a straitjacket getting getting needles, you know, stuck in our rect stuck in stuck in our buttocks, you know, with pharmaceuticals, you know what I mean? It, it's just it just kind of it really does piss me off sometimes. You know, because this world, it, it really is ridiculous. And I think it's important that we give one another space to, um, to express that and not, just, and not just sit here and be like, we're just like these automatons with these fake smiles, these fake plastic smiles on our faces um, all the time. You don't need to walk around smiling to be happy. You know, people, people would say that too. And, and other people that I know, people, friends that I'm with, tell me that they were told growing up oh they should smile more this sort of that 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 it's not about you don't have to smile to be happy okay like i could be inwardly happy and just be like you know how the hell does anybody else who sees me okay know like what's going on inwardly they don't okay that's just that's the reality of it okay people want to see you smile for their own for their own gratification for their own selfish purposes. So when a person tells you that, you know, they're not saying, oh, you should smile more because, um, you know, because it's actually good for you and they, they're really genuinely concerned with your well-being. It's usually just because they're more concerned about their own, uh, their own, like, emotional gratification, you know. So anyway, this was, this was a bit, this was a bit of a, uh, uh, vent video, but I'm, I'm going to cut it off here. I don't want to Take, take up too much of your time. I want to start uploading more regularly just because it's kind of it's kind of stupid. I have this platform with over 600 subscribers and I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I have a lot to talk about. I feel like I have a lot to share. Um, a lot of valuable information to share and ideas and concepts and whatever. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to shut the camera off now and I hope this finds you all well. Share your comments, thoughts in the description down below. And yeah, talk to you soon, guys. Peace.